Welcome to the Ukraine Wireless YouTube channel, where we bring you the most up-to-date reports from the front lines of the ongoing conflict between Ukraine and Russia. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for daily updates and stay informed about the realities on the ground. The host's voice rings out, even tone yet urgent, carrying the weight of months spent documenting the unforgiving struggle. Today is no exception, battle lines are drawn, resilience tested, and once again, the people of Ukraine find themselves facing another day in the shadow of a raging storm. Kurakiv, once a quiet town, is now a landscape scarred by war. The Russian forces have redirected their main offensive efforts here, tightening their hold on the area. Morning reports tell of reinforcements, new artillery, and precision airstrikes in this direction. Ukrainian defenders huddle in bunkers, their eyes scanning the land for enemy movements. Outside, the rumble of tanks reverberates, an unspoken promise of the day's bloody confrontations. The resilience here is remarkable. Ukrainian soldiers, many barely out of their teens, swap short bursts of conversation, sharing fears and stories of home. In every face is a quiet but fierce determination, a kind of resolve that refuses to bend, even as the Russian army mounts attack after attack. Today alone, 140 clashes erupt across various locations, each one brutal, each one a testament to the relentless assault and resistance shaping this war. The soldiers know that every clash, every defensive stand, is a tiny victory in a far bigger fight for survival. At the Pokrovsky and Lyman directions, more blood is spilled today, Russian forces move in tactical waves, attacking with increasing frequency and desperation. The towns of Drusholubivka, Grykivka, Makivka, and Terniv are all under siege. Here the Russians have used 55 airstrikes, leaving destruction in their wake, and launched over 3,600 shells and kamikaze drones into Ukrainian positions and settlements. As dawn breaks in Kharkiv, Ukrainian forces brace for the familiar roar of artillery. Russian units have stormed the positions here three times today in the Vovchansk area alone. Each attempt is fierce, met with unyielding resistance from the defenders, who cling to their posts amid the sounds of explosions and machine gun fire. Just a bit further out, in Kupiansk, the situation is no less dire. Russian soldiers push through 12 times, targeting key areas like Petropavlivka, Kruglyakivka, and Kindrashivka. In Kramatorsk, six major offensives were launched by the Russian army, each intended to break the Ukrainian lines at Stupachak and White Mountain. In Toretsk, under the cover of aerial support, Russian forces attempt to improve their tactical position, launching four brutal assaults. Ukrainian troops, skilled in guerrilla-style defense, manage to repel each attack, though at a steep price. It's relentless in Pokrovsky. The Russian forces launch 23 assaults on Ukrainian positions, targeting places with names that sound like prayers Myra Lyubivka, Prumenia, and Fox. This day, every one of those attempts is repelled. Ukrainian forces hold, yet at every cost. They know that each defense is a testament to their commitment, each victory a fleeting relief. By midday, reports confirm the staggering losses on the Russian side, 357 dead and wounded. They've lost a tank, five armored vehicles, and seven units of transportation. Ukrainian forces have dealt a hard blow to the invading forces, but the price has been high on both sides. As the sun dips low on the horizon, the Kharkiv direction transforms into a nightmarish furnace. Russian forces make a staggering 50 attempts to advance through areas like Ilinka, Novoselidivka, and Maximilianivka. The names of these villages, once symbols of peace, are now synonymous with war. In the Vrimivsky direction, the Russians press five assaults on Ukraine's front lines in the villages of Trudovoy and Spil. Here, the fight is less about territory and more about the relentless endurance it demands. As dusk falls, Ukrainian soldiers dig in deeper, each one knowing that their hold on this ground means sparing those back home from the horrors of occupation. And in Orihivsky, a new level of danger arrives. Russian forces unleash the Kebama airstrike, sending bombs down on settlements in Zaporizhia, Malatokmashka, and beyond. Nine air bombs fall, each one leaving a scar that stretches far beyond the initial blast. In the Pridniprovsk direction, three attempts by the Russians to breach Ukrainian lines are swiftly repelled. There's an odd rhythm to the fighting here, almost as if it's become routine. The soldiers are focused, efficient, and driven by a need to protect what remains, 